Hello, my name is Paul Kanyuk, and I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to render fog volumes in RIS in RenderMan for Maya. Um, this is in response to a uh, question I saw a friend of mine had. And uh, yeah, here's a very quick demo on how to do it. So I'm starting with a sphere here in non-commercial Houdini Apprentice. I'm going to fractal it up with a mountain sop. Then I'm going to do a VDB from polygons, which should make a volume out of it. Put that to an out null. And then in my ROP geometry, I'll give it a great name, previously awesome. And I don't know what to call it. Yo, 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 or just, yeah, yo, 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 right there. That's the name of our VDB. Let's go ahead, save it to disk. And if we take a look in our hip directory, hopefully we should have a yo, yo, yo dot VDB. All right, that's uh, all we should need. Now in Maya, uh, make sure that you have both RenderMan for Maya and OpenVDB.LL um, MLL loaded. Note I'm using RenderMan for Maya 21.4. And then let's go ahead and make sure we got a hyper shade up. And let's go ahead and go to RenderMan and create an OpenVDB viewer. Um, note that we have a volume shader dropped in right now that should be bound to this VDB viewer. Um, and wherever that VDB viewer went uh, is right here. Let's go ahead and get our yo 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 dot VDB. We should actually get a little, you know, OpenGL preview of what our volume looks like. And let's to make sure this is working, um, let's go ahead and set a unique color maybe make this a bright super green maybe give it a value of two make it ultra bright um, and let's go ahead and uh, render this in it let's make sure it is open and let's go ahead and maybe do an IPR render and so we can zoom around and inspect our little fluffy open VDB fog volume note that there's a, seems to be a bit of an overhead before the render starts and there we go there's our green fluffy cloud. So lovely, so wonderful. Now, um, in this version of RenderMan for Maya, it does not appear that IPR renders allow you to dynamically change the shader parameters. So if all of a sudden I make it emissive, oh, actually it is working. Really? Okay, I, apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. The live render is working. Anyway, uh, I know that live rendering support is going to be much, much better in RenderMan 22. For now, you know, see what works and what doesn't. Anyway, that's really quickly how to render uh, OpenVDB fog volumes in RenderMan for Maya and RIS. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks, and bye.